gross violations of international humanitarian law. We must apply ourselves, as we have done in the Cairo Peace Summit, to a political process, a process that re-emphasizes that the two-state solution. We can no longer only address the two-state solution and advocate as a matter of lip service that the international community and the Security Council do have the necessary resources and means to implement what has become recognized as the international community's consensus to the end of this conflict on the basis of a two-state solution living side by side in peace and security. And this is what we seek and this is what we expect. Thank you. بها مصر اليوم بعد قمة السلام وبعد الترحيب الدولي الكبير من الجهود الدبلوماسية المصرية في تحرير المحتجزين بالأمس مصر تعمل على بكل جهد لتناول كافة أبعاد هذه القضية القضية الإنسانية العمل على in the West Bank and missiles and drones launched from Yemen all warn of the conflagration that is possible. It is in the interest of Israeli and Palestinian civilians and all states in the region that this conflict does not spread further. That is why my Prime Minister and Foreign Secretary have been in the region. Et c'est bien entendu la solution à deux États. Nous allons continuer dans ce sens avec tous nos confrères arabes et les autres pays. Et nous aspirons à une conscience que le fait de la détérioration de cette situation nuira à toute la région. Civilians. We're outraged at where that moment has gotten us as well. We're outraged at what's happening now in Gaza. 6,000 people slaughtered, uh, children, uh, women, daughters, fathers, uh, grandfathers, all, all suffering, all dying. of the war that you see now. We should be outraged at failing the Palestinian people. We should be outraged at failing the Israeli people by not giving them the peace they deserve. What we want is peace that will, will fulfill the rights of the Palestinians to statehood, freedom, will ensure the security of Israel. And that's a position that in 2002, the Arab Peace Initiative, we said that, we said all of us are willing to have normal relations with Israel in return for one thing, end the illegal occupation of the Palestinian land, end the suppression of the Palestinian people, withdraw from Arab lands occupied, and let's have peace. So I think we're all out outraged at the, at the death of every child, everyone, regardless of the nationality, the identity, the religion, the faith. But we should face facts, and we should stop just trying to avoid looking, addressing the elephant in the room which is there is an occasion that is the root cause of all evil in the region and that must end. This is our message. This is where we should all be outraged. And let's remember, this is not the first time that we see people die. How many wars have been launched in Gaza? How many violent operations have taken place? Where are we now? Facing the same moment that we all have been trying to avoid. Facing death, facing war, facing the threat of regional war. So let's just step back. Let's not let rage determine the future of millions of people in our region. Let's just all, let's allow common sense and reason to come back and let's all together, the whole world in this United Nations, come and say it is time we solve this challenge, this conflict once and for all. And the only way is peace that will fulfill the rights of all and would allow all of us 
to start working together to create a better future for all our people. Mr. Foreign Minister, Mr. Foreign Minister Susan Tebrani from Weon, what is the response for those who say ceasefire is only possible until the hostages are released? And thank you for doing this. I mean, a ceasefire is a humanitarian imperative. We are facing a desperate situation in Gaza right now. We are facing an impending humanitarian catastrophe. Every hour we speak, more civilians in Gaza are dying. More people are getting injured. The situation is getting worse. A ceasefire is an absolute necessary necessity immediately. That will allow us to address all of the other issues. We have called quite clearly for a release of hostages, and that is absolutely necessary. But the protection of civilian life, the protection of infrastructure, especially hospitals and other uh, uh, infrastructure required for the survival of Gaza is also an imperative that must be met immediately. Ministers, can I ask a question on behalf of Al Jazeera English? What are your comments on concerns that this violence might spread across the region? That threat is real. We're all doing everything we can to stop it. There's the threat of this expanding into the West Bank, into Lebanon, into other fronts. None of us want that. We're all working against that. But let's face it, unless this war stops, uh, unless those horrific images of death keep coming out, we are all face uh, that real danger. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Israël doit arrêter de cibler les civils. Aussi beaucoup de pertes de vie concernant les, jou les journalistes ont eu lieu. La loi internationale doit être respectée. On demande à Hamas de libérer les otages. Car le Hamas a également nuit à des civils. Cette décision de cesser le feu doit prendre place car la situation non, ne concerne pas seulement les deux parties mais toute la région. Le Conseil de sécurité a été fondé pour mettre fin au conflit. L'objectif du Conseil de sécurité est toujours d'arrêter les conflits à travers le monde. Les conflits ne peuvent pas continuer à se produire, sinon cela va toucher à toute la région. Concernant les aides humanitaires, Quelles sont les pressions que vous exercissez sur le côté américain pour faire une pression sur Israël pour libérer les aides humanitaires Notre message est très clair. Il faut absolument mettre fin à cette occupation. Ce message est parvenu à tout le monde. La Jordanie, l'Égypte. Nous avons eu des discussions continues et 
et nous convenons de l'acheminement de ces aides humanitaires vers Gaza, mais ce n'est pas encore suffisant. On ne doit pas avoir des conditions pour faire arriver ou parvenir les aides humanitaires à Gaza. Et bien entendu, cela va de pair avec la loi internationale. Et euh, ça, euh, mettre fin à ce blocus, et ça c'est notre demande première et principale.